Okay, so what we're looking at here is how to um, pan and zoom into an image. Also how to rotate an image, but how to kind of animate um, that as we go along. So we've got a picture from the London Eye here that we're going to use. So I'll drag this down to the, the timeline. Now one thing to, to check when you're using an image is it's big enough um, for the resolution that you're working at. So if we come down to our project panel here, okay, I'm looking at this PIC 34, and if I just keep scrolling to the right, you can see that my image is 3,264 pixels by 2,448 pixels, so it's easily big enough to go on the 1920 by 1080 pixel HD footage that I'm editing, or the HD sequence that I'm editing here. Okay, so we'll be able to zoom into it, zoom out from it, I and mean, that kind of thing. Okay, and we'll just zoom right in on this guy. So I've got a static image, and what we're going to do is animate that image. So basically, um, if we double click on the image, it brings that instance of the image up on the in the source here. Okay, so we can go into the effect controls, we can jump into the motion, okay, and this is where we can animate the position, the scale, and the rotation. Okay, and we can change things like the anchor point and stuff like that, but we're not worried about those right now. So I'm going to come right to the beginning of my clip. Okay, I'm going to start this zoomed in. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to adjust the position of it. So I'm going to adjust the position so it's kind of framed on the skyline here. And then we'll zoom out to kind of reveal more. So we're going to be managing the position and the scale. Okay, so now if I come ahead in time, so we're on 49 seconds-ish here. So we'll make the animation last just, uh, just under two seconds. Okay. So once we've come ahead in time, we've added our keyframe, we turned our keyframing on. So we only need to do that once. So now we can scale it down. And I'm just looking for the scale until the, the kind of width matches the width of my, my clip sequence roughly. And then I'm going to change the Y value here so that I reframe it so we can see it's now should be zooming out but also reframing a little bit so that we don't get that black edge on the image. Okay, So that's how to animate the position the scale. We can also change the, the rotation um, here as well. So this image looks pretty level, but if you had to rotate it by 90 degrees or something like that because you're working with a portrait image or a landscape image, then you can rotate it here um, either by dragging the scrubby slider, which is this little slider that pops across when you select that, or by just typing in minus 90 to be precise, or 90 to be precise about how you're going to rotate that image. So we'll set it back to zero, which we can do by typing in zero here, or by just resetting the parameters. Okay, so we've got a zoom out, okay, and we can now, in our effect controls here we've got a timeline so we can speed up or slow down that animation so if we want to slow it down we'll grab these two keyframes you can see I can just click and hold or drag a marquee around those two and drag them back and now that will slow down my animation so it happens a little slower okay and then I can also drag them ahead in time so that my animation becomes very quick so the other option we've got here as well, if we drag this ahead in time, as you can see that when my animation ends, it just kind of ends really abruptly. If we right click on these, okay, we can basically um, do an ease in for each of these two keyframes. Yeah, so ease in when it's coming from the left there. Ease out. So ease out would be at the beginning here where we start it off. So you can see it's just accelerating and decelerating at the beginning and end there. Okay, so that's how to do an animation.